Warning, it is dangerous to modify cooking appliances. The oven you see is rebuilt to be DC rated. DC and AC are not the same and great care must be exercised when re-engineering and converting an appliance to DC. Just a quick explanation of what PV to load means. Traditionally, the solar panels would charge batteries through a charge controller and power would come out of the batteries into an appliance or into an inverter and then an appliance. PV to load simply means the solar array is powering the load directly. This greatly reduces the complexity of the system and it can be more efficient. Solar panels are simply a power source and it makes sense to have appliances that can be powered by solar panels directly. But those appliances are few and far between. This oven and the solar electric camp stove I showed previously are both PV to load appliances. Of course they could also run off of a battery bank if needed. PV to load means less wear and tear on expensive discrete components such as charge controllers, batteries, and inverters. Increased efficiency, little or no electronic components to fail, lower system costs, better mobility of the cooking system, more flexibility, and lower cost of operations. Okay, now I'm going to show you the food that was prepared and the oven cooking this food straight off the solar panels. It's as simple and clean as you can get. Hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. I covered up the oven brand because it's just a metal box that I used. The components in an AC toaster oven are not suitable for DC, but the metal enclosure is a perfect project box for an oven build. I'm not using anything fancy to regulate the temperature. I designed the oven that way on purpose. I experimented with methods to make the oven more efficient. Heat shielding and over temp protection are critical features. In this build, I tried very hard to avoid adding complex electronics that will just fail. I like simple and robust appliances.
It smells really good for just a test.